All right, here we go, guys. So, welcome back. If you were on the last stream, that was just a couple minutes ago. Um, but we are going to be starting the new series, which I had a poll up for you guys to vote on a while ago on my Instagram and Twitter. So, we are going to be doing our Pokemon Emerald Randomizer. And this was this randomizer was actually made by my friend Darth, who you've probably seen in the chat a couple of then. You're here. Well, welcome. Welcome, Des. Glad you could jaw you could hop on over from the last one. I appreciate it. Yeah, mine says two, so <laughs> mine, it might be. Just take a minute. Um, but I don't know. I didn't make this. I had nothing to do with it. So I have no idea, like, what, like, I, I don't know what he did. I just, I really don't. So this will be interesting. So let's hit new game and let's go. Yeah, it might just take a minute to, uh, you know. Um, get up and running and stuff, so... Oh, why is it skipping? Okay, hang on one sec. It just skipped that whole thing, so I'm gonna do... Um... I'm gonna do this really quick. I'm gonna redo it, because I want to read everything. This is how this goes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna check the settings really quick. Wait, I said it's a fast. Is it already, like, really, really fast? I wonder. Because it just skipped everything. Like, I didn't... Uh, okay, let's see if this fixes... <laughs> I want to see everything. Like, I don't want to... Okay, yeah, that makes it better. Okay. <laughs> uh, hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon, and he has a Chikorita. Okay. The one uh, Johto starter we did not see in the Elite Four battle in our Pearl Randomizer. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? I am a girl. Yes. Yes, I am a girl. Just you. Yeah, just you for now, it seems. We might get some more people joining in later. We'll see. Uh, I'm a girl. I like the uh, Hoenn, the Hoenn um, female character. I really do. I love May. So, I love May's design. So, that's basically what they use. So, alright. So, I am a Sandra. Spell the name. Alright, there we go. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. You're Sandra, who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Like, do you? Do you? Or <laughs> do you really? <laughs> Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. We will, dude. We will. Uh, let's go. And I have not played Emerald in a long, long time. So, it'll be interesting to go through this, because it is different than the uh, Ruby and Sapphire stuff. So, just a little, anyway. And, of course, we're riding in the back of the moving truck. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra, we're here, honey. It must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It is quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Sandra. Let's go inside. So are you saying I didn't have my own room before? Like, where was I sleeping? Uh, <laughs> see, Sandra, isn't it nice in here, too? The movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Sandra, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark out our move here. Don't forget to set it. I will definitely set it. Uh, but first, let's check. Do I have a potion in the PC? I think I do. Yes. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's set our clock. <laughs> you love being the only one? <laughs> hey, enjoy it. Yeah, I enjoy it, honestly. Okay, it's about 3, so I'm going to put it as 3. It's not quite 3 o'clock yet, but I'm just going to put it as 3. Because it doesn't really... On the emulators, I don't think the time, time events work anyway. So I'm just going to put it as 3 o'clock. <laughs> Sandra, how do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. 
Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Well, I'm pretty sure it is. I don't need to read the adventure rules. I know how to do this. <laughs> I've done this. I just became champion technically a minute ago, so... Oh, Sonder, Sonder, quick, come quickly. Another version of me did, anyway. Look, it's Pedalwork Jim. Maybe Dad will be on. We brought you this report from in front of the Pedal Bird Gym. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Holding your blind dog, aw. <laughs> Love dogs. Yeah, I'm sorry he's blind. That happens sometimes, though, unfortunately. Oh, hello. And you are? Oh, you're Sandra, our new next-door neighbor. Hi. We have a son about the same age as you. Our son was excited about making a new friend. Our son is upstairs, I think. Is he upstairs? Is he really upstairs? There's a Pokeball. <laughs> Catching me, basically trying to take his stuff. <laughs> hey, you... Who are you? Oh, you're Sandra, aren't you? Moved in next door, right? I didn't know that you're a girl. Dad, Professor Birch, said that our new next-door neighbor is a gym leader's kid, so I assumed you'd be a guy. My name's Brendan, so hi, neighbor. Huh? Hey, Sandra, don't you have a Pokemon? Do you want me to go catch you one? Oh, darn, I forgot. I'm supposed to go help my dad catch some wild Pokemon. Some other time, okay? <laughs> sure thing, Brendan, sure thing. Well, let's go out. And I know where I'm going, so we're just going to go straight to it. Because I want to know what these starters are. <laughs> um, hi. There are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you go see what's happening for me? Sure. Help me! And there he is, running from a Zigzagoon. <laughs> oh boy. Hello, you over there. Please, help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? So we have Swampert. Alright. So, Darth set all of these, so I don't know what they are. But here we have Swampert, which is pretty dang cool. A Crowdon! <laughs> Crowdon. Alright, alright. We got a Crowdon here. And we have oh, Charizard. Okay. <laughs> Legendary starter that I normally get in my playthroughs. Favorite Pokemon. <laughs> oh, your phone died? Well, I'm glad you're back. Glad to see you back. Okay, we gotta go with favorite. We gotta go with Charizard. I know we've used... Oh, hang on, my mom's calling. Hang on one sec, guys. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. She was asking if I wanted something from the store. So, we're good. But we're going with Charizard. I love the other two. But he's my favorite. <laughs> we gotta. We gotta. <laughs> gotta go with Charizard. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a specific frame for the Emerald series. I don't know. Charizard has drought? What? <laughs> oh, OP. <laughs> Charizard's gonna just annihilate this whole game. He has drought, like... Yeesh. <laughs> well, I was in the tall grass stud studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me, thanks a lot. Oh? Hi, you're Sandra. This is not the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? 
What do you mean later? You're just going to drag me here. <laughs> candy. Candy's good. I'm not a big candy person, honestly, but there's certain ones that are just like, oh, they just sound good right now. <laughs> you know? So, Sandra, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet, but the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum. I, I, I don't know. A plum. <laughs> We're going to say that. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh yes, as thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. And we got Charizard. While you're at it, why not you give a nickname to that Charizard? We are going to, and I now have a better nickname for my Charizards that I like to give them. So I'm going to call you... Drago. I just, I really like that name. So we're going to go with Drago. Zuko's a good one, but I think Zuko fits more, I think, for like Cinequil and Typhlosion. So I like Drago for Charizard because he's not a dragon type, but he looks like a dragon, you know? If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think, you, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid Brendan is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. Sandra, don't you think it might be a good idea to go see Bren Brendan? Yes, let's go see Brendan. Great, Brendan should be happy too. Get Brendan to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Yeah, see, Draco and Drago are two different things, though. <laughs> Do you have anything for me? No, you don't. <laughs> Dang it, I just want free stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the name Drago, though, for the Charizard. Alright, so we gotta go find Brendan. So let's just go. He's gonna have Groudon. Which kind of sucks. <laughs> what is Groudon gonna know? That's the thing. What does Groudon start out with? Oh, look, a Poliwag. <laughs> Hello, Poliwag. Uh, let's just take you out for a little bit of XP. I know you're only level two. But your water moves, if you have any, are not gonna do anything to me because of drought. <laughs> just not gonna do a thing. Okay, they do something. But you know what? They do a lot less. <gasps> yeah, Draco is a good name, but I like Drago. You're going to go watch them? All right, well, thank you for stopping by and hanging out, Des. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, let's keep on going. <gasps> Just talk to everybody so we can see if we get items. A lombre, okay. Alright. Take that out as well, just for some XP. <laughs> yeah, you're, you, you can growl me all you want, I'm just embering. And level 6. Keep leveling up, we'll be fine against Groudon. Okay, no item over here. So let's heal up. Should get an, a potion, I think, from a po the Pokemon attendant, one of them over here. Okay, give me my Pokemon back. I wish I had a speed up button, but I don't. Alright, are you the one that... Yes, you work with Pokemon, yes. Give me... I just want the potion. I just want the potion. There we go, we got a potion. So if we need it, we can use it. Alright, let's up here. An Oddish. Well, that's getting annihilated. <laughs> That's getting annihilated by Ember. Charizard to just don't be with Drought. Like, come on. Oh, man. Alright. You, you say anything? 
How do I like my randomizer? I love my randomizer. You made Charizard OP. <laughs> you made Charizard OP and I'm loving it. <laughs> He's so OP. He's got drought. I love it. Hello, Brendan. You're going to have grout on this. That's going to be tough. <laughs> okay, so it's this one and that one that live on Route 103. We might be okay, though, I think. We got powered up fire type moves. I think we'll be okay. Hey, it's Sandra. Oh, yeah, Dad gave you a Pokemon. Since we're here, how about a little battle? I'll teach you what being a trainer's about. Let's go, Brendan. You're going down. Come on. I didn't know it would give Charizard drought. It did. It really did. <laughs> and it's so great. <laughs> It gave Charizard trap. <laughs> so my drought intensifies the sun's rays. So Groudons didn't have to. Let's just ember it. This will be the second time today that a Charizard has defeated a Groudon. Because <laughs> of the dang Groudon that Lucian had. <laughs> that was a shock. <laughs> Okay, if you only are using Scary Face, you're gonna lose, dude. <laughs> Just saying. Ha <laughs> ah, crit. Let's go. Shars are too good. And level 7. Level 8. Shars are too good. Shars are too good. <laughs> it's not too shabby. What do you mean? I just destroyed you. <laughs> I think I get it. I think I know why my dad has his eye on out for you now. Look, your Pokemon already likes you, even though it j you just got it. Sandra, I get the feeling that you could befriend any Pokemon with ease. We should head back to the lab. Uh, okay, I'm going. I just want the running shoes. That's what I want. I hate walking everywhere. <laughs> hate walking everywhere. Okay, I'm just going to go straight back. I don't really think we necessarily need to heal up. So, Sandra, after you're done with this man randomizer, do you want me to make you another one? Um, sure, if you want to. Yeah, I mean, if you want to. I don't know what game. I don't know what game would be good, I guess. So, I'm heading back to my dad's lab now. Sandra, you should hustle back, too. I am hustling. I can't hustle, really, actually, because I don't have running shoes. <laughs> that would be nice right now. Just some running shoes. All right, let's talk to the professor. Oh, hi, Sandra. I heard you beat Brendan on your first try. That's excellent. Brendan's been helping me, helping with my research for a long time. Brendan has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Sandra, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. And we got a Pokedex. Let's go. Uh, pick a generation between three and five, and I'll surprise you. Ooh. Well, we're doing three right now, so... And we did four. I feel like maybe we should do five then. We should probably do five. <laughs> I would say. Uh, the Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid Brendan goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, why, Brendan looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Huh, so you got a Pokedex too. Well then, here, I'll give you these. And we got Pokeballs. We can finally catch things. <laughs> Oh, is that video kind of boring, Des? I'm sorry. You're, that other one's kind of boring for you. What gen? I didn't hear you because I'm playing a game with friends. Oh, okay. Um, I would say probably gen 5 because we just did 4 and we're doing 3 now. So I would probably say gen 5. Uh, you know it's more fun to have a whole bunch of Pokemon. I'm going to explore all over the place to find different Pokemon. If I find any cool Pokemon, you bet I'll try to get them with Pokeballs. Yes. Okay, can I just go? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Wait, Sandra. Sandra, Sandra, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You got it from Professor Birch? How nice. Your father's your your father's child, alright. You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip in your step. Let's go. Running shoes, finally. Those shoes came with instructions. Yeah, I know how to do the... I know how to use running shoes. To think that you have your own, very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on, go get them, honey. I will. I will be the champion. Again. 
All right. What other Pokemon can we find? We've seen a Poliwag. That's really all we've seen. So I wonder what else can we find here? Because we need some more team members. Hello, Poliwag. A Poliwag wouldn't be bad. I want to see what else we got, though, as options. Because I've never used a Politoed or a Poliwrath. So, I mean, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Don't know if I want one yet, though. I want to see what my options are. I want to... I'm not going to try and be too picky, but at the same time, it's like, what do I got? Cast form. Hello, cast form. Well, you're going to get to be a fire type here in a minute. <laughs> or not. Hmm. Maybe he won't. A lombre. I mean, never used a Lombre either. That wouldn't be a bad idea to have. I might just catch it specifically because I know too it's it can learn a lot of HMs. So even if we wouldn't aren't going to use it on the team, we can use it for that. Okay, please say you'll get in the Pokeball. <laughs> get in the Pokeball, please. Come on. Oh, come on, Lombre. Okay, if it growls me one more time, I'm going to go scratch again. Because I don't want to take it out. But if we can do a little more damage to it. Never mind, we don't have to. We got the Lombre. Let's go. That's a good name for a Lombre. I don't know, it's a girl. The Jolly Pokemon. Lombre, oh, what do we should we call a lombre, guys? Do you know anyone got a name suggestion for a lombre? Cause I don't have a clue. Uh, ha, <laughs> huh, what's a good name? Uh, I don't even know if we will be keeping it on the team, but it might. We need to name it, you know. Uh, I don't know what to name it. Oh, it's so hard to name Pokemon. Say, I want a snowy owl. They said they're like feathered marshmallow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a girl. What do I call it? Can go, it'll go to Ludicolo. Who's like very. I kinda. I've seen some people. Oh, Lyra? I actually like that name. I like that name. We'll go with Lyra. We'll go with Lyra. I like that name. I've never actually had a. Lombre on. Ever. Never actually used one. So we'll see. Okay, we got one. What else do we got? Oh, a Hitmonchan! Hello! You're kinda cool. <laughs> You're cool! I don't know if I want to use a Hitmonchan, though. Let's, uh, maybe. Okay, let's go up. We're, I'm gonna heal up. And we'll go up to the top route to see what else we can find up there. Because, of course, there's different ones up top, and then there's going to be different ones to the left as well, so. And I need some more Pokeballs, actually, too. So let's actually buy some more Pokeballs. Can we buy more Pokeballs here? We can now. Okay, sweet. Uh, let's get... No, wait. Let's get ten. That's going to take up a lot of our money, but we get the Premier Ball as a bonus. Alright. And I think we'll be fine. On health-wise. I don't mind running back if I have to heal. Okay, what else is up here? A Nuzleaf. Okay, hello. You're cool, but we... If we're... Honestly, I think if we're gonna use... Uh... I don't really normally use a Nuzleaf, but... 
I don't normally use Lombre either, and I already have Lombre here, so... Another Nuzleaf. Nuzleaf's like, use me, dang it. <laughs> fight me. Nuzleaf, you really want to fight? Because I promise you, you ain't going to win. Drago has Drought, and he's super effective on you. I'm tell you right now, it's not a good idea to pick a fight. Not a good idea at all. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Oh, what's Tyranitar's catch rate? It can't be good. But I kind of want it. Do I risk using all my Pokeballs on this? I don't think I should, but at the same time I kind of want to. <laughs> it's a tank stick and Tyranitar. <laughs> Oh my god. What does Lombre know? What do you know, Lyra? Oh, wait. I didn't mean to hit switch. Oops. Oh, well. It's fine. It's fine. I guess we'll find out. Oh, you know. you has got Sandstorm. Okay. Alright, alright. <laughs> Misclick. Oh, well. What do you know? Astonish and Growl. Okay, yeah. You can't do much. Oh, wait. Charizard has an item? What do you have? You have a lucky egg! I didn't see that before! Oh my god, no wonder he's level up so quick. Okay, put Charizard back in. Do I dare? What do you think, guys? Should I dare even try and catch this? How much does Ember do to it? Yeah, it's gonna keep using Sandstorm. So we don't get the drought boost. It's a dang stinking Tyranitar though. Like, oh my god, and I've never used a Tyranitar. How much is Ember gonna do? Not very much. Nose bite. Man, it's a Tyranitar. Like, oh my god. Oh, do I dare? Do I dare? I feel like I might want to try. Maybe a little bit. I'll kind of limit myself, though. Oh, nope, we got a crit. We're taking it out. Okay. <laughs> we found a dang stick at Tyranitar. Oh. I don't think it would get in the Pokeball. That's the th other thing, though. Well, Lyra grew a level, so that's good. What else lives here since a Tyranitar lives here? Like, oh man. Another Tyranitar. Oh my god. Do I even try? I might. What is his catch rate? I don't even know. It's gotta be high. It's gotta be like, well, you know, it probably is really hard to catch. Catch. What is this catch rate? What is this catch rate? I really want to know. Is it worth it? Probably. Oh, we're down to red. <sighs> okay, I'm going to take a risk here since it's so low. How is this going to do? <gasps> we got the Tyranitar. Let's go. Oh, nicknames, guys. We need nicknames for a Tyranitar. Armor Pokemon. Overwhelmingly powerful. can bring down a whole mountain to make its nest. It roams in mountains seeking new opponents to fight. What do I call you? Godzilla. <laughs> I like that, Darth. <laughs> we're going Godzilla. Why not? Let's do it. And we're going to do all caps. Just like that. Godzilla. <gasps> Where's he? <laughs> Zilla. 
Oh my god, we got a dang stinking Tyranitar. <laughs> Let's go. I have never used a Tyranitar before, so this is awesome. Let's see. Since you have a lucky egg and I had no idea. <sighs> Alright, so here's that. Here's Lombre, who's got early bird. Okay. Early bird. You're pretty good. Your stats are pretty balanced. In rock dark type Tyranitar, we got hustle, so trades accuracy for power. All right, all right. Dang, stick a Tyranitar, like dang. What do you know? You know bite. Okay, your only attacking move is bite, but that's still stab, and you're more of a physical attacker anyway, so that's pretty dang good. <laughs> Oh, okay. I think we're doing pretty good on our team right now, guys. We got... We're, we're doing really, really good. <laughs> Let's go ahead and heal up, and we'll just keep going. I'm happy. I am happy with... Okay, wrong button. <laughs> oh, man. I got a Tyranitar. I'm going to save just in case this... I don't want this to crash. I'm I'm worried about my emulators crashing after the one did at on my during my fossil fighter last fossil fighter stream. So I don't want to lose uh, my uh, Godzilla here. All right, let's go ahead and head out. What can we find here? I'm curious. What can we find on this route? A Ludicolo. Hey. <laughs> well, we already have a Lombre. We might as well just raise the Lombre. Might as well just roar in a friend way. Yes, yes, roar in a friend way. I'm surprised our answer was that easy to catch. I expected it to be so much harder. Uh, spinda, we don't need a spinda. It's just a spinda. I don't need a spinda. Well, I don't know if there's another meaning to roar. I don't know. <sighs> if there's, if it stands for something, I don't know what it means, honestly. Oh, that's what it means. Okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's do maybe a couple more encounters. In a friend way. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I appreciate that. I really do. <laughs> okay. If it's just Ludicolos and Spindas, then I don't think I have... There's nothing really here I need. We've already got a Lombre. And I don't know. We may keep the Lombre. We might not. I don't know. Oh, Carvana. Hello. Get a Sharpedo, but we already have a Dark type. So, and I'm pretty sure I want to keep Godzilla on the team. Let's be real, it's Godzilla. <laughs> it's a Tyranitar. I've never used one, and I kind of want to. Oh, come on, really? We're going to have a Weather War. You have Drizzle, wow. Are these their hidden abilities? I'm curious. Are these all their hidden abilities? I guess I'll just look at Tyranitar since I have it up. No, I don't even know. It changes. So I don't know. Alright, we'll just fight this guy. I'm don't, I don't want to say no to your challenge. Fight me. <laughs> fight me, youngster. Whatever your name is. What's your name? No, wait. Rock or Stacy? <laughs> Rock or Stacy? Alright, Stacy. <laughs> A chancy. Alright. Not, not too terribly worried. Chance it can be bulky, but we do have Drought to power up Ember, so I'm not really too terribly worried about this. I'm definitely going to have to put um, Godzilla or Lyra up first, though, to get them some XP. Get, we'll pass the Lucky Egg around, too, as we go. <laughs> Fight me, yeah. Uh, what's your name? Yeah. I don't know. Apparently, I had no idea what the, his, his name was, because apparently it's Stacy. 
Rocker Stacy. Wasn't even a youngster, was a rocker. And four under nine with a Jancy. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's go ahead then and we will... Oh, nope. Switch. We're gonna um, put Godzilla up front. And we're gonna take the lucky egg and give it to Godzilla. Yeah, Stacy is a girl name. I'm assuming Darth randomized the. I'm assuming he uh, randomized all the trainer names. Because that is an option when you are setting up a randomizer, you can do that. Alright. Let's fight this bug catcher who probably doesn't have any bugs. <sighs> and probably isn't even called a bug catcher. No, you're a cop. Cop Sonia. And you have a Psyduck. Don't have a water type move. <laughs> Everything is random. All right. Who is Darth? Darth is the other guy in the chat with you. <laughs> okay, we're just going to keep biting it. <laughs> yeah, except types, because that would be make the randomizer too annoying. That's true, honestly. I think that would be very, very annoying. And there we go, Godzilla's level 4. Level 5. And a Masquerade. Uh, let's go and switch. Honestly, Godzilla probably could handle it, but I don't. all I have is Bite, so... Everything except types. That's a good way to do it, honestly. That is a good way to do it. Yeah, because the types would be very annoying. <laughs> Alright. You're not a trainer? You sink right into the grass. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> oh, here we go. Both beginners, yes we are, but um, you might not like the Pokemon I got. What does Darth do? He's just a friend, you know, he comes and hangs out. He has his own YouTube channel as well, so he made this randomizer for me. He's very nice to do that. <laughs> Godzilla. <laughs> Let's go. And Ninkata... And we can stay in. It's fine. I think it's just it's just an Nincada. Godzilla just destroys everything. Okay, wait. Get these berries. Give me the berries. Can be helpful. There we go. And I've got an itch. Oh, okay. And no item over here. Of course not. Uh, let's just keep on going. Fight this girl. Are you actually the last or no? Probably not. <laughs> that would be very funny if she was. Schoolgirl Rachel. Okay. That actually makes sense. So... <laughs> It's funny on randomizers when things make sense. <laughs> like Lucian and his bronzong. He actually had a bronzong. Oh yeah, you do have a Twitch too, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I have a Twitch that I just don't do anything with. <laughs> really, honestly. I haven't done anything with it. Onyx coming in. I will stay in and bite it. And there we go. We got a crit. Godzilla too good. Level 8. Oh man, I love the lucky egg. I love the lucky egg. <laughs> yeah, YouTube and Discord is always fun. Oh no, you fell off the couch again. That's not good. 
That is not good. All right, we made it to Petalburg City. I think once we get to Godzilla to level 10, we'll switch and put uh, Lyra up front. Again, not sure if we'll keep Lyra around on the team, but definitely want to train her up while we have her on the team. So we'll see. What, it depends on what Pokemon we find later on, too. All right. Oh, you're looking for Wally. Of course you are. Is there any items around here I've never actually explored? Like my 10th time I fell off the bed when I was little. Ugh, that sucks. <laughs> yes, you got the feeling, yeah, Norman's tough. Well, he's our father, so... Don't know if there's anything I can actually get around here. It's been so long since I played Emerald. It has been so long. Traveling is wonderful. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, okay. No free stuff. That's all I want. Free stuff is best stuff. I I know what I know. Oh, no, I didn't mean to talk to you again. <laughs> all right, let's go talk to our dad. Hmm? Oh, if it isn't Sandra. So you're all finished moving in? I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Hmm. Then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Sandra. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Oh, this looks like, like that learning game. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't know. I, I'd i like to get a Pokemon, please. Um, you're... Oh, right. You're Wally, right? I'm going to go stay with my relatives in Vernon Turf Town. I thought I would be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along. But I've never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm, I see. Sondra, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally, here. I'll loan you my Pokemon. And got a Zigzagoon! Hmm, I'll give you a Pokeball, too. Go for it. And he got a Pokeball. Oh, wow, thank you. Sondra, would you really come with me? Yes, we're going with you. This is basically the tutorial on how to catch, even though we know how to do it. <laughs> Since we've caught a Lombre and a dang stinging Tyranitar. <laughs> Sandra, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Yes, they do. Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa. Let's see, what's Wally gonna catch? A Togepi. Hmm, alright. And he didn't get a Zigzagoon, he got an Alakazam, so our dad has an Alakazam. <laughs> Gonna wait right here. <laughs> Just wait while he catches his Pokemon. <laughs> we already know how to do this. Yes, you throw a Pokeball right now, Wally. Throw your Pokeball. Throw your Pokeball, Wally. You can do it. You can do it. Stop hesitating. The longer you hesitate, the more likely this Pokemon might not get caught. Probably not, honestly, but you know what? I can say that. What are you doing, Shasta? She's just looking at me like, well, you're crazy. <laughs> there we go, though. Wally got a Togepi. <laughs> I did it. It's my, my Pokemon. Sandra, thank you. Let's go back to the gym. So, did it work out? Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. Sandra, thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Sandra. Now, Sandra, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro City, beyond this town. There, you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to another Poke go on to other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them, understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader, too. We'll battle one day, Sandra. But that's only after you become stronger. I will, and I will beat you... <laughs> Norman is basically the known as the toughest gym leader in Hoenn, I'm pretty sure. So, you got your chips, that's good. Food sounds good right now. Honestly, food just all oh, sounds so good. Are you maybe a rookie trainer? Yes. All right, let's go out. Oh, hello. Excuse me. Hmm. Let me guess. From the way you're dressed, are you a Pokémon trainer? Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. 
you're either a rookie trainer or maybe you're just an ordinary kid. I'm roaming the land in search of talented trainers. I'm sorry to have taken your time. Excuse me, look at my team. <laughs> Think I don't have talent? <laughs> okay, what lives on Route 104? Hey, it's a Meganio! <laughs> Well, that's cool. I don't think I want a Meganium, but that's pretty cool. What else we got here? A Scyther, okay. Alright. I think I might have pizza. Nice. Yeah. I'm weird in the sense that I don't actually like pizza, but it's just because I don't like the sauce. You know, I'm not a fan of, like, the pizza sauce. I'm weird that way. I don't even know what we're having for dinner tonight. I got no clue. My brother was trying to convince my mom to bring something home. I don't know if he did. Uh, don't want to meow. I like Persian, but don't think I want one. Another Hitmonchan. This Hitmonchan. <laughs> You're cool and all Hitmonchan, but no nah, thanks. I don't like pizza too, but I was, yeah, it's good. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Grimer, don't want a Grimer. Okay, we'll do a couple more encounters and we'll kind of just continue on because we still got the forest to look through as well. And a couple more battles to do. Another Hitmonchan. Okay, maybe do one more encounter. See what we get. If there's anything like that's just not popping up. And a Meowth. Okay. Okay, nothing I'm seeing I really want right now, so... I'm really happy with what we have right now, honestly. <laughs> Alright, do you say anything? Just telling us how to weaken Pokemon. Okay. You're not a trainer. Alright. Alright, let's go this way. You're a trainer, aren't you? Yes, you are! You look like a youngster, but what are you really? Rocker Antoinette. <laughs> so wait, are the rocker are the youngsters all rockers? Oh, Ampros, okay. Fond memories now of Fluffy. <sighs> if they don't have static, don't paralyze me. Down goes the Ampros. And level 9. One more level, then we can start training up Lombre. Uh, Raichu's coming in. Let's stay in. Hopefully you don't have static. If you do, we're really close to the town, so it's not that big a deal. You're done with your chips? Alright. Oh, Thunderbolt. Okay, you already know Thunderbolt. Okay. And level 10 for Godzilla. Alright, we'll switch uh, Lyra up front. Alright, we'll switch Lyra up front. We'll give her the Lucky Egg. And there we go. Alright. No one wants to fight? You want to fight. You have fished up a tough looking Pokemon. What Pokemon did you fish up? <gasps> Is it a Magikarp? No, you're a cool trainer, Sonya. Alright. We have another Sonya. Oh, you fished up a Ralts. Alright. Say, so I like eating cream cheese for some reason. Well, I mean, hey, it's personal preference for everyone. Okay, how much is Astonish gonna do? Probably not much, because I'm level 9. You're level 9, and I'm level 4. And you just growled me. Oh, well, that's not terrible. I'm just going to switch into Godzilla. Make this quicker. Lyra will still get a really good chunk of XP. Oh, confusion. Haha, ha, it doesn't affect me. <laughs> nice try, Ralts. <laughs> and 
and Lyra's level 5. There we go. Yeah. Everyone likes different things, you know. Actually, I was at my internship, and one of the girls over there, she was... Um, <laughs> the other, um... Other ones there were kind of like, why are you eating that? And she was eating like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with like Doritos on it. And they were like, why are you doing that? But again, it's just personal preference, honestly. Some people like things and some people don't. So I've never heard of actually putting Doritos on it. I know people put chips on it. But I mean, I guess Doritos isn't that far of a stretch to put on them then. Hello. <laughs> All right, Servant Joe. So this is a servant, <laughs> apparently. Slugma, all right. Uh, we may want to... I'm going to switch. We don't really have... See, the problem with Lyra right now is Lyra doesn't have much that it can do. It has Astonish, but Astonish isn't really that good of a move. Please don't poison me. Thank you. <laughs> I like sandwiches with any type of chips if if chips on them kinda it's good but PB&J I don't know Yeah, say I wouldn't know I don't really like combining stuff that's my personal preference I don't really like combining things uh, I'm getting a little better about it but alright let's go in the forest there's more Pokemon for us to find what lives here Torchic, hello. Already have a fire type though, so sorry, Torchic. You're cool, but okay. Oh, I hey, <laughs> dude. All right, there was an item down here. A yellow flute. Okay, what does the yellow flute do? I don't even know what that does. Let's find out. That snaps Pokemon out of confusion. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're a thief. I know. I know people are thieves if they try and take someone else's Pokemon. I know. Is there something here? A Rostberry. All right. All right. What other Pokemon can we find in this forest? A Marowak. All right. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and run from that. We'll see what else we can find. Uh, I'll just keep running around this grass patch for a while. Another Torchic. Now I want cheesecake, but I can't have that. Aw. Let's say my mom really loves cheesecake. So is my friend uh, Emma too. If you've seen her on uh, other streams, probably execute. Hello. We already have a grass type on the team, so. Which is weird, because I'm never really as big a fan of grass types. I don't normally have one on my team, but. On the Pearl Randomizer, I had Leafy on. This one, I have Lombre right now. Anything else we can find? I don't want to miss out, you know? I mean, we still have the whole forest to go through, really, so. Alright, I don't think there's, I'm seeing anything I really want. So let's just run through the forest, and if we happen upon something that's kind of cool, then maybe we'll catch it. And Cop Chloe <laughs> has a slow king. Alright. We might actually be okay on this, because that's a psychic type. Oh, instead of Lyra, literally would make more sense, because her head is a lily pad. That's true, yeah, but I do like the name Lyra, though, honestly. And your attack and defense went up. Well, that kind of sucks, but... You have a speed boost! Ay ay ay! Oh no. I hate yawn. And there we go, Lyra's level 7, learned to absorb. Well, that's good. And Miltank's coming in. I'm going to switch, though, because we are about to fall asleep. 
Uh, let's go Drago. Because mill tanks can be annoying, so I want that. I want the drought to power up Ember here. There we go. <laughs> Took out Miltank without an issue. That's good. And Drago is level 11, a Machamp. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm gonna leave Drago in, because really, I don't know what it'll do, but I don't wanna. Machamp can be really strong, so I don't really wanna send in Lyra right now. A Azria? Hmm. So I'm in the middle of installing a Pokemon Ultra Sun ROM and it's taking forever. Oh, that's not good. Sharpedo, we can switch. Lyra can do that. Uh, Azria? Is that how you say that? That's a cool name. I've never heard that name. Wow, oh, that is a cool name. Definitely. Yeah. I've never heard that name before. It is a four gigabyte file. Eh, that, yeah, that might take a little bit longer. Still, that's quite a while. Alright, let's just one more absorb and it'll go down. And we'll get a bunch of XP because of the lucky egg, which I love. <laughs> Level 8, let's go. Yeah, that's how I pronounce it. I forget how... I forget how she's a YouTuber. Oh, really? Cool. That's cool. Okay, wait. There's an item over there. I need to grab that. Another Marowak. We could take it out pretty easily, but I'm just gonna... Save. If I had to train later, it's fine. It'll be much easier since we have the Lucky Egg. A shoal salt. What is... What is that? Finding items, I have no idea what they are. Deep inside the shoal cave. Alright. Doesn't tell me what it does, but okay. Uh... And another Marowak! <laughs> so I was just searching um, Bloxburg builds and I found her. Okay, cool. Yeah. Alright, and there's a guy here. Hmm, not a one to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. Sorry, dude. Nope. <laughs> I was going to ambush you, but you had to dwaddle and pedal the woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. <laughs> you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You've got to help me, please. Huh? What do you think you're doing? What, you're going to protect him? No one crosses Team Aqua get no one who crosses Team Aqua gets any mercy. Not even a kid. Come on and battle me. Alright. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> Pichu. You're not scary. <laughs> you are not scary at all. Pichu has drought? What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Again, you're not scary. You have drought. <laughs> uh. <gasps> yes, go Lyra. Lyra wins. <gasps> he wants to be threatening, but he has a Pichu <gasps> that knows drought. <laughs> Well, not nose drought. Its ability is drought. Like, legit. Hor yeah, pretty much he's already down. Yeah. Yeah, Lyra hit pretty hard. So, we are doing it good. There we go. Tamer Chloe. <laughs> we beat Tamer Chloe. 
You've got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Come on and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we of Team Aqua are always after something are also after something in Rustboro. I'll let you go today. Well, thank you for telling me what your next move is. Appreciate that. Whew, that was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. I know, I'll give you a great ball as my thanks. Uh, thanks, I guess, yeah. That'll come in handy later. Uh, didn't the Team Aqua Thugs say they were after something in Rustboro, too? Uh-oh, this is a crisis. I can't be wasting time. And off he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, but it has been an hour, and of course, that combined with the last stream, that is two hours that I've been streaming. So, I am going to end the stream here, but I wanted to get, I was excited to get this series started, so I'm glad we could start it. I mean, I'm having fun. We're finding some crazy things already. A Pichu that had drought. Who knew? Who knew? Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this and are looking forward to the rest of this series. Um, if you are, make sure you hit that like button. It really does show your support. Also, comment and subscribe for more videos. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss out on a video or a live stream. I do it as often as possible. Sorry, Tez, I do have to go. I do have to. Uh, um... But that is going to be it for this stream, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all next time.